uh, Annalise, you got me too. I mean, like, <laughs> explain to us how the weather impacts allergies. Oh, uh, uh, in every way, yeah. And this whole back and forth thing we're doing is not helpful to this whole allergy conversation, guys. Our numbers have been sky high, uh, but we're going to be going on through another weather change. We already see it out there, thanks to our strong cold front that moved through last night. Look at the wet weather that is still lingering behind it. None of it is heavy. This is the good news. The bad news is that it does still mean a slick commute for you, at least early on. We'll continue to monitor really light rain showers passing through uh, back around Kaufman County. You go back to the west, it is possible to see some sleet. We've had several reports of that, but the good news is that it's all very light, and we're not going to see any accumulation out of that either. So we'll move on from here. Clouds are going to stay heavy. The rain tapering off slowly as we get into the mid morning period. I'd say mid to late morning, we're done with any wet weather. We're dry the rest of today, but then we fast forward into tomorrow. We are going to be watching a disturbance that's mostly going to be passing us to the south and east, but it could provide at least some very brief rain if you're southeast of the Metroplex. For today's forecast, though, we're talking about upper 40s, slowly seeing some sunshine return, breezy north winds, and boy, what a change, guys. We're not done with this back and forth thing. 70 Thursday, upper 30s as we go to Friday, and there's some wet weather too. We will talk details on that, guys, coming up.